been a while since we had a port stop in Key West, Florida. But here on the Celebrity Silhouette, we've gotten off the ship in Key West for the first time in a long time. And we're going to take a walk around the downtown area. I think Rich has actually already been shopping, at least in his thoughts, around the marina to see what kind of boat he'd love to sail home in of his very own. So there's lots to do here. There are some good attractions in town. If you haven't been here or haven't been for a while, that you can rent a bicycle and get around very easily. You can check out the little Truman White House. There's the Hemingway House, the Audubon Society, and very famously Duval Street and Mallory Square. This is a beautiful day and a really beautiful spot to come as a uh, port destination on any Caribbean or Bahamas cruise ship uh, itinerary. And it's gonna be fun to check it out again after so long. Well, it's kind of fun to be back here in Key West. It is. It's kind of a neat town to walk around in. And it's so nice that every once in a while, it's part of a cruise itinerary. Destination. Yeah. You know, and living in Florida, we can get to Key West anyway, but right. we tend to actually come more often when we're on a cruise ship that brings us here. And it's just a nice update for a day to spend a few hours and uh, to see what's happening here in Key West. Walk around town. Yeah. And it is a really walkable area. The right. downtown of Key West is walkable. And as you'll see in the video that we intersperse here, there are bicycles everywhere and mopeds and scooters and then uh, more things that look almost right. like open air Jeeps these days and um, street right. legal, almost golf cart like vehicles. Yeah every little way of getting around town yep. and you don't really need a car yep. to do that. Trolley train, planes coming in. Yeah. yeah. There they come. Yeah. Very popular. Yeah. Even on a Saturday morning. <laughs> I think somebody's flying in for breakfast, don't yeah. you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Either that or we know they're also, you know, military here. So right. there are things that are happening, coming and going as people are doing their training, what have you. But to also just find these little um, enclaves here like we found, just to find a park bench in a shady area and they're dispersed all over the city. You can see them everywhere you go and right. don't be surprised if a rooster or a chicken is following you around as yeah. you take your walking tour. Yeah, you tend to have to, you know, watch where you're walking in both directions. Up, down and sideways, right. <laughs> every which way. <laughs> but it's a fun area. I would say this is the first time we've been back since after the whole, you know, shutdown and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to see that a lot of the local saloons and restaurants and uh, historic areas are open. And yet right. I'd have to say as we walked up and down Caroline Street, Duval Street, some of the major areas right close to the, the pier, mm -hmm. there are a number of shops that are out as well, right? right? So mm -hmm. there's certainly turnover probably seasonally, but I think the last few years have been tough on places that rely on sure. tourism. And this is season in Florida right now. It's February, so as we uh, record this, this, yeah. is, this is going to be about as busy as it's going to get for tourism. Right. There's some great hotels that are right near the water that bring people down, whether right. they're on cruise ships or not. And right. um, again, many of us will come in for the day and uh, you could just see a lot going on. Um, and hopefully there'll be a good rebound and recovery here. But I'd say visiting in 2023 and beyond, things are open, kind of back to normal right. and more things open than not. Right. So if you're wondering, you know, how did Key West make out? 
it, it's probably a mixed bag, but I think for the most part they are reopened and, and yeah. mostly back. You can yeah. still get that conch train right. or the trolley tour. Right. And I think all those little shops down at Mallory Square yeah. were open. It's not the Purdue train. Everybody thinks it. No, it's not. It's, oh, is that what they think? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that before. I think you might be able to tell the difference. Uh, just slight, <laughs> slightly, you know. But this is the comp train, right. and the, the guides are on board with their microphones. They're all mic'd up to take you around town and right. explain the history, explain some of the highlights of what you're seeing. I liked it the time that we actually did our own bike tour. Like we, we did. Took, that was good. We just rented bikes. We didn't do it as an organized tour. Right. And it just gave us so much more range than we could get in one day walking. Sure. And it's so flat here and easy to get around. Mm -hmm. You can get down to that southernmost point. You right. can come to all the, the touristy areas and still be back for a drink or lunch. And right. uh, the bike is a really nice way to get around here. It what is. are your highlights when you come to Key West? All the bars. I mean, did you see? <laughs> there were a you few. You can go bar hopping and be here all afternoon. And this is probably why... Uh, you tend to find some pier runners at this pier oh. more than more than many others. So. And we've seen that so many times over right. the years. Oh, what yeah. was your favorite one? Oh, I guess it probably was the bride and groom running back. Right? You heard the so. lady in the still had the gown on yeah. and everything. Uh, and I'm thinking, well, I hope she took her shoes off to run. <laughs> I'd break an ankle for sure. So. But they were coming yeah. as fast as they could to get back to their sure. ship. And I mean, if, if you're going to if it. you're going to miss the, the ship on a, a on a pier, this is the one to miss because you can just drive back to Miami and, and the, the ship will usually be there waiting for you and the you next can pick morning up your luggage. you can pick up your <laughs> luggage and everything so you don't have oh. to fly back if you miss it here so that's the the convenient part of missing it here so that's right but we yeah. still hope everybody gets back on the ship in who plenty of time back, who yeah. wants to get back <laughs> and it is funny to be on on the ship and then watch and right. see people who forgot what time it was they were having just too such good a time. A, such a good time. Yep. That's right. Well, this is a beautiful spot. We're actually near the Truman Little White House, and mm -hmm. we've gone in there a number of times. It, it, it's really neat. It's, an, it's a fun place to go. I, you know, we, we like history. Right. And so we, you know, tend to seek out those kind of places, and, and that's, that's a lot of fun. And it's a, like time stood still there. The mm -hmm. way that they've maintained the furnishings, uh, the operating equipment of how the little office was run when it was the summer White House for Truman. Right. So you're looking at the very late 40s, super early 1950s as a moment in time. Mm. And it's very, very interesting to see how they've maintained that house. And you can go room by room and see everything from the china they used to the desk that he wrote right. at and yeah. how and where he uh, sat and with his advisors and where mm. they met. Yep. And the grounds here are beautiful. Mm. The whole area and the homes around the Truman Little White House are really a must stop on your list if you're coming to Key West. And it's easy to walk to. So, you know, if you get off the ship, you want to do just walk around by yourself. That's right. You can easily walk over to that. We just did to just now. That's right. Well, I think we should uh, take another walk back, maybe check out Mallory Square. There's usually something happening over there before we head back to the ship. There's more of Liz's friends coming in. Another plane or two. That's a big one. That might be uh, cargo. <laughs> No, that didn't look like anybody's uh, breakfast flight in. No. It was a little too big for that. Yep. But, um, nope, it's a beautiful spot. I'm glad we got the chance to come back. It's great. All right. Well, let's go have a, a little more exploration and see what we can find. Bye now. Now, if you're finding something interesting in this video, I'd ask you to give us a thumbs up on this episode. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It is absolutely free with no obligation and turn on notifications. That way you'll know every time we have a new episode posting to the channel. We'll look forward to seeing you here as we continue our cruising adventures.